Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. We exalt your name, O Lord our God, for granting us grace to be alive to see this day, the very first day of the month of July, 2018. Lord, indeed, your faithfulness endures forever. As we meditate upon your word this morning, we ask that you bless your word in our hearts and cause us to be doers of your word and not hear us only. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. For our morning devotion this morning, we are going to take our reading from Psalms number 124, Psalms 124. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. The stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prayer to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are grateful to God for making it possible for us to see the beginning of this new month of July, as well as a new day, full of new opportunities and fresh anointing. We bless the name of God, for it has pleased him to keep us alive to witness this day. To him alone be all the glory, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Our topic this morning is on our side. On our side. God on our side. This Psalm, Psalm 124, as we all know, is one of the songs of ascent. As the previous Psalm 123 ended with a cry, for God's mercy and deliverance. We now hear the voice of a leader calling on the people to remember that the nation has already experienced such a deliverance. God has really delivered his people, Israel, and so they are glad. We are not told who had been attacking Jerusalem because the psalmist only speaks of men, as we read on verse 2. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. The psalmist only speaks of men, but we may deduce that these men belonged to foreign nations, that hated Israel and sought to swallow it up. These nations include the Philistines, the Assyrians, the Amalekites, and so on. The attack of Israel's enemies would have been as overpowering and as destructive. But the Lord is in control of the waters. These nations have for, from time to time 
being a problem to the people of Israel. But the Lord has never deserted his people. He has always been in control of the waters. The very forces that could have destroyed them were under the Lord's control. Look at verse 5. It says, Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul, if not for God's intervention. The swollen waters have, would have gone over our souls, just like the case of Pharaoh and the Egyptians at the Red Sea. When the Lord saved his people and punished the Egyptians at the Red Sea. Like the bird that was released from the trapper's snare, children of God are being saved from their oppressors. Today, we still know and we still believe and we are sure that our God is still on our side. From time to time, we are being released from the trapper's snare, just like the children of Israel, and we are being saved from our oppressors. Hallelujah. But we can ask ourselves here, what was their secret? What was the secret of the Israelites? The secret is, the answer is simple. God is on their side. God is on their side. Beloved, regardless of the numerous difficulties and oppositions we face as Christians in Nigeria today, when you look around, you see that people are groaning. When you look around, you see misery written boldly on people's faces. But one thing is sure, God is on our side. When we look at insurgencies, bad government, unchristian policies, discrimination against Christians in this nation, we tend to lose hope. But the good news is that God is on our side. Our help comes from the Lord. We don't have an alternative. God is our helper. No problem is beyond his ability to solve. This is very true. And there is no circumstance that is too difficult for him. The secret is that God has been on our side. According to our, devotion, our devotional guide, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive. This is not limited to the physical Jews only, but to believers in Christ. All believers from all nations, they enjoy this privilege. Child of God, be assured, God is on your side. No matter what you are passing through, no matter the challenges of life you are facing, no matter those things that give you sleepless nights, domestic problem, problem at your workplace, generally, I want you to have the faith. I want you to believe that God is on your side. He will never abandon his own. He will keep you. Remember that our help as believers in Christ is in the name of our Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. We can always turn to this God for help in our time of need, for he is on our side. He is the maker of heaven and earth. As the psalmist earlier said in the previous chapter, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. He knows everything about you. He knows everything that you are passing through. Our help is from the Lord. I want to assure you this morning that our hope has been God for the future. And he has always been the source of confidence in the presence. 
if we keep on believing him, if we keep on trusting him, he will always be on our side. Let us pray. O God, our help in ages past, our help for years to come. Be thou our God, while troubles last, and our eternal hope. Amen. God bless you. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.